Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another daily vibe. The timing is fluid, and we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message? What kind of message do I need to deliver this time? Two of Swords reversed. Two of Swords reversed. So this is <sighs> obviously there's a battle, right? But you know, this is a two of it's reversed, so I feel like You know, something is coming out. Something, the two, of, the decision. It's over. I think the battle is over. Um, somebody has won. They've made a decision. No more fighting. The decision has been made. I know what I want. There's, there was, there was probably some double loyalty, right, or dual loyalty. Loyal to this one, but loyal to that one. Wanting to go this way, not sure what way to go. So there was some conflict here. And, and, and there was conflict over heart and mind. Heart and head. You notice head and heart. So it's like the heart wanted one thing, but the head was saying another. But not anymore. Because, you know, it's an absence of struggle here. Because when a card comes out in reverse, there's an absence Okay, or there's or it's an extreme. It could go either way. So there could it could be it's, somebody could still be struggling right now, having a very hard time deciding whether they want to follow their heart or whether they should do the most logical thing. Sometimes following your heart isn't what you know you may think that you should do. You may think, oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't go after what my heart wants. You know that might be what you think, but. In my opinion, you should follow your heart. That's that's my opinion, but uh, that's what I've learned throughout life. And what the higher power wants me to tell you is that you should be following your heart. Or somebody should be. But I feel like this is the truth. Uh, coming out of denial, seeing what needs to happen. Because it's like no more fighting. No more fighting the head and heart. Making the decision with the two of swords reversed. Um, there's, there's a lot of, um, anxiety though, and there could even be some resent. I mean, I suppose I could turn this light on, but then it would be very bright. We're going to zoom it in here in a moment. I really don't like the light. Temperance reverse. Now this is very, this is frustrated, imbalanced, and this is unbalanced as well. Or it was unbalanced, but this is a state of imbalance. It's not accepting, not a, not accepting, not evolving, uh, being frustrated. There could be some illness, an onset of illness because somebody is refusing to accept change or they're refusing to let go of something because this, you know, we talked about this in one of my, in my last live that I did on Empress TV. We talked about the temperance card. Um, this comes after the death card, but as you can see, it's reversed. So there's an absence of healing. There's an absence of acceptance. I, refusing to accept change. Okay. Refusing to let go. Um, refusing to learn a lesson, going overboard, uh, somebody is going, and so this could be an, an excess, an extreme struggle going overboard. Now this could be some sort of deception too, confusion. Somebody could be deeply confused about which way to go, fighting in their mind, okay, because swords are mind is like having, you know, having a lot of inner conflict, there's some sort of, sort of double loyalty. It's like I'm loyal to this, but wanting to be be with that. So that's kind of interesting. So, hmm. 
Hmm. Needing to re-examine. Somebody needs to re-examine. Page of coins. Page of coins. So page of pentacles. We have a new a new opportunity here. But it's not going to be easy because the page of coins is a new doorway that opens a new path, a new, um, well, an opportunity to, it could be even a new opportunity to make money or a new opportunity to broaden your horizons in some arena or start a new project or start something new. There's an opportunity that is coming, but it's going to take work. You're going to have to prepare for it. Um, you won't make a lot at the beginning or it won't be easy or you may and feel like giving up or like this isn't going to work out or, you know, you don't know what the odds are, but hey, why not? You might learn something. At least you'll learn, you know, uh, you'll learn how to, well, in this case, make lemonade, <laughs> you know, you learn something from the experience, you learn some sort of skill. So there's going to be a new opportunity that is presented or that you will that you will come up with that will or that you will create, you know, this is a new idea perhaps. Whatever this is, this is a new opportunity to go down a new path, do something different, have a little bit of fun, whatever, try something new, see what happens. It could be coming but turn out to be something big. So this is an opportunity that is probably going to show up. Well, you're going to manifest it, okay? You're going to manifest this opportunity. You're going to come up with it on your own, you know? Whatever. This is an opportunity that is coming, the Page of Pentacles. Um, but you're going to have to come up with a plan. You're going to have to follow through with the plan. You're not going to You're not gonna be able to give up along the way. You're going to have to you know, see it through, perhaps. So that's what it is, see it through. Set a goal and see it through. And, and be realistic with yourself and realize that you're not it's not like gonna happen overnight it takes time and it takes a lot of hard work so whether this is a new job or it's a new business or it's a new way to make money or it's a new relationship however this pertains to you it takes time with the page of pentacles and it takes perseverance and you gotta be realistic okay uh, you're building a foundation you're starting something new and, and it, when you're starting at the bottom because this is starting at the bottom it is you're starting at the bottom okay that's the reality of it and this is a reality of it okay so somebody may be starting at the bottom and you know they're gonna have to find their way to uh, keep going don't get distracted don't get distracted because uh, it's not happening overnight and this is getting frustrated lack of patience so this is like struggling mentally. So we have somebody here that is struggling mentally, battling, 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 battling. Because, you know, is this going to be fruitful? Is this going to pay off? It's going to pay off if you follow through with it. If you don't follow through with it, well, no, it's not going to. So anyhow, you know, this is getting frustrated, a lack of patience, um, battling, fighting, not seeing perhaps, wearing a mask because the Two of Swords often has a mask on. And this one, there's no face here, you know. So it's like, and it's funny because right when I said no face, I said don't take it for face value. That's what that's what happened in my head. What I what I heard in my head, don't take it for face value, you know. So just because something looks some some way doesn't mean that it is what it is. Okay. Three cards. Almost ten minutes in. Ten of cups reversed. Now ten. Is that ten or five? Hold on. Five of cups reversed. Two of cups. This is a, geez, I'm, I can't even read this. You could barely read it yourself. It's it's in cursive. They, I'm not sure they should have used that font. But anyhow, it is the two of cups. Um, two of cups reversed. We have a partnership that isn't okay you see where i put this card this is a partnership i'm trying to basically teaching people i don't know why anyhow the two of cups reverse underneath the temperance card so these two anyhow um and being a it's funny that i talk about that i'm talking about teaching i never do that so there may be something about learning a lesson here. And the temperance is about learning a lesson. I got it. I got it. And people, that I refuse to learn. I'm not going to try new things. And this is a need to re-examine. Try something new. 
So you need to re-examine a partnership. Could be a work partnership, could be a friend, could be a partner, whatever. This is a need to re-examine. Okay, make sure that you, whoever you're dealing with, it's practical, that it's, that it's compatible, because this isn't compatible. It really isn't compatible. It's not compatible. Somebody's in a, a partnership that is not compatible. There's, there's fighting. There's definite fighting. There's conflict. There's arguments. It, it's just not on the same page. Two of Cups, you're just not on the same page. Disharmony. Disharmony, disharmony. Okay, so this could be, you know, but this is, this is, uh, unwilling to compromise, unwilling to accept change, unwilling to deal with the grieving of a, of a loss because I don't want to deal with the death of it. I just want to ignore it. This is ignoring, you know, but battling on the inside, battling over, you know, what is the, should I follow my heart or should I do what's right for, you know, do the right thing for everybody around me? What, whatever, what I see is that you need to re-examine your partnership, re-examine what your heart wants, re-examine your future. There's an opportunity to build a new foundation. It's not going to be easy, but with hard work and perseverance, you can be successful. This is a new doorway opening. The page of corns is a new doorway. It's a new opportunity to go down a new path that you have never, ever, ever bend down. You will learn skills along the way. So somebody is going to be presented with a new opportunity. That is something that has been manifested. It's a golden opportunity. That That is a gold. That is she's the ace of pentacles right up, up to her eye. This is a golden opportunity that could lead to something solid, long term, and abundant. But, you know, if you don't go down that path and you choose to uh, stay where there's disharmony and conflict and arguing and incompatibility and it's a constant battle. Well, that's your own problem. You're going to continue to repeat the negative patterns in your life and you're probably going to end up getting sick, okay? Because stress kills. It's not healthy. It's not healthy to stay in an unbalanced, unharmonious partnership where there's probably no reciprocation. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of arguing. It's a constant back and forth. Why would you want to be there? Because you're afraid of change? Afraid to, sh to show what you got to offer? Afraid of rejection? Doubtful? Are you doubtful? Are you doubtful that nobody will come along? If you don't try, you won't know. Two of coins reversed. Two, two, no, two, 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 two. Two, two, two. Time, but all three of them are reversed. Two, two, two. And don't say my deck is reversed. We know it's not reversed. And if you think my deck is reversed, go someplace else. Anyhow, two, two, two. Three twos reversed. Twos are about faith and trust. Follow your intuition. But all three of them are reversed. So we got somebody here that has no faith and trust, and they're not following their intuition. They have to make a choice about a partnership. Huh? Where's your intuition? How, do you even know? Have you lost it? Is it buried? Are you not listening? Is it? Are, have you blocked it out? Two, 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 duality. It's time to take the next step. We go from a one to a two. Take that next step. Twos are also about soulmate connections. Twos. One becomes two. So, you know, it's like there's an opportunity for a partnership here. There is. But you have to be willing to be realistic, to be practical, and honor your heart. And don't make poor decisions based on 
Maybe somebody is staying in a situation because they don't have any money. Because, you know, it pays, it's, it's stable, right? It's stable. But whatever this partnership is, it, there's, there's no organization. It's overwhelming. You're biting off more than you can chew. There's really no contingency plan. It's a, it's, a, it's like a financial mess. You have an opportunity right now. This is a golden opportunity to go down a new path. But you are going to have to have faith and trust. Follow your intuition. Follow your heart. And you're going to be starting at the bottom. And working your way up. So that's what we got here. Good luck. My advice is to do it. This is an, a golden opportunity. If you follow through, it will bring you abundance. It will. But this partnership that somebody is in now, there is no contingency plan. There is no stability. There's no real partnership here. There isn't. These, this, these, whoever this person is working with, they, they, they don't work well with. It's a constant battle to stay afloat, to stay upright. So, looks as though there's a new opportunity that is coming in or that you have manifested or that is going to come to mind. But the only way that you are going to make it successful is to go down that path with faith and trust and follow through. And it's not going to be easy because the page of pentacles, it is not easy to start at the bottom. But every small business owner or every brand new relationship started at the bottom. Good luck.